Hey guys, welcome to my classroom and today we're going to look at one of the phenomenons that my students really struggle with, the grade sevens. They struggle with the seasons, but the science behind why we have seasons. So let's have a look. I've designed an experiment over here, which is a flat board over here, which is connected to this computer. And this flat board is going to tell the computer what the temperature is. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a radiation gun and I'm going to shoot electromagnetic waves to this board and then this board will heat up but the first time I'm going to do this the board and the radiation gun will be parallel with each other the second time I'm going to switch this board to a hundred and forty degrees so it's going to be much more oblique and then we're going to test the temperatures see what the differences are so let's check it out when I, got, when I do the electromagnetic radiation, you can see that the area here is 18 centimeters parallel and the temperature is around about 39 degrees Celsius. The next one, you can see here that the board is much more oblique. And if I bring the radiation gun closer, I shoot it and you can see it's 90 degrees. The radiation goes out and it's 140 degrees that it falls onto the board and it's 25 centimeters here the area that the radiation falls on the temperature here is roughly 23 24 degrees celsius now what does this mean if we compare the two the area that was smaller had more temperature the higher temperature the area that was bigger had a lower temperature how does this work now the smaller the area, the more electromagnetic waves hit this area at the same time, thus more energy is transferred. So the lower the area, the higher the intensity. The bigger the area, the less waves hit the area, so there will be less energy transfer, the lower the temperature. That's very important to remember. And why is this important? Well, if you look at the Earth, the bottom part is very much parallel if you look at this block over here it's very much parallel to the sun's rays so it resembles the first experiment so that is why the bottom the southern side of the earth here would have summer the top side the northern side is much more oblique so the re the electromagnetic waves that fall from the sun onto this earth will have a much bigger area to fall on so that is why it's colder on top so the northern hemisphere over here will have winter the southern hemisphere will have summer that is the science behind this now there is a big misconception that students have when it comes to seasons one of them is that the earth orbits the sun but it goes closer to the sun as it's summer and further away from the sun when it's winter now I've designed this experiment to show them that it cannot be true this light bulb here resembles the Sun and this is those little balls that you put on pizza boxes that if it's hot if the pizza is still hot it'll be red and if the pizza is cold it's going to be black I'm going to make this little ball orbit this light bulb just like this the earth orbits the Sun it's going to go close to the Sun and further away let's see what happens so the Sun is shining and the ball goes notice that the entire ball gets red and the entire ball goes black and I tell my students that this misconception cannot be true because the southern hemisphere and the northern hemisphere don't both have summers at the same time and they don't both have winters at the same time so this experiment proves that the orbit cannot but go closer to the Sun and further away from the Sun otherwise the entire earth will have winter and the entire earth has summer Please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel and if you guys need any information or any questions please ask and comment and maybe I will try and make a video for you if there's work that you do not understand.